Yeah, the natives don't. Yeah, we, <laughs> don't, unless you live in those areas, right. you really don't go mm -hmm. in there because you know the day to day. Are like, yeah. Yes. So right. that's not the day to day existence. But mm -hmm. if 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 you were going to Jamaica and you're going to Kingston, there's a lot of stuff that you can see. Mm -hmm. Bob Marley Museum. That's mm -hmm. up in Hope Road. We call Bob, that Kingston. Bob Marley, yeah. Devon House. Right. That's a very historical place to see. Mm -hmm. um, what was the Lemon? You say Lemon House? Devon House. Devon. What, tell us about that. Devon House has. I'm not um, familiar with that. One. Well, you know, Devon House has a history, and the history is that the person who built the house, he is one of Jamaica's. Uh, most famous millionaires mm -hmm. and, oh. and and for me I, I was going to Devon House Jamaica for mm -hmm. years because mm -hmm. we go to Devon House for different reasons than mm -hmm. for the history because when you're in Jamaica you take these things for granted yes so we right. used to go for mm -hmm. ice cream mm -hmm. because oh, they wow. have famous ice cream and they spell it I uh -huh. scream uh -huh. you know not the traditional way and so we used to go there's there's a there's a park and we used to have picnics and stuff but the person who Devon House is named of, and there's a mansion, and it has a lot of stories and histories to it, that is located um, in between where the Bob Marley Museum is and where mm. like Halfway Tree Square is. Mm. And that's a popular tourist destination when folks go to Jamaica. Also, they, they have entertainment there? They have entertainment, mm -hmm. they have a lot of cultural shops. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, Cheryl Lee Ralph, who a lot of people know about, her mm -hmm. mom, has a store there and they sell a lot. If you're trying to get souvenirs to take back home, mm -hmm. then you should visit Devon House. Well, Devon House. Yeah, oh, Devon House. Right. So that, and you should try the ice cream. So ice cream. Now, what is that made of? Is that like uh, a regular cream or is that, you know, some uh, countries call ice cream and, they, and just like uh, Italians, they call, uh, they deal with the uh, Italian ice. The Italian and, ice. And, and things like that, you know, that's, um, uh, mostly Italian, uh, but you, you're talking about this is real uh, from from the milk. Yeah, this is ice cream, just like you have ice cream mm -hmm. here. The difference mm -hmm. is that it's it's made from fresh, and so they have stuff mm -hmm. where they they inject a lot of the Jamaican flavors right. in it. So you well, find stuff like uh, soursop mm -hmm. ice cream, and soursop okay. is one of our fruits. They'll do like mm -hmm. the Devon stout, mm -hmm. which is made from like a dragon, like a Guinness stout. Mm -hmm. So the ice creams themselves are very flavorful, mm -hmm. and most of the flavors are from mm -hmm. foods that are mm -hmm. a typical well, Jamaican well, what, foods. Uh, what fruits are typical uh, Jamaican, would you say? Well, we, we, we have a lot of fruits in Jamaica. We have the Jamaican Otaiti apples. Mm -hmm. We have lots of oranges. We have bananas. We have sweet sop, sour sop. Mm -hmm. We have um, oh, pomegranate. Oh, oh. Yeah, we, pomegranate, but what was this sweet and sour sop? What's well, that? <laughs> <laughs> you'd have to see it to know what it is. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's a big fruit. Oh, um, I see. And, um, one is a sweet Like a sop. coconut? No, it's no. not like a coconut. Um, I'm what, trying to th where does it grow? On a tree or yeah, a vine? It grows on a tree. Grows on a yeah. tree? Yeah. They, huh. they have a bunch. I mean, where I lived when I grew up, we had so many fruits. Yeah. I mean, you... you well, look, that's, that's why I want you to emphasize. I know <laughs> it's, you have so many that uh, here in the States we're not familiar with. Yeah, you're not familiar with it. And then also, we have different names for them. Some of them you have. Mm, and yes. the same applies for different uh, Caribbean islands. They have the same fruits, but they're right. called a different thing. Mm -hmm. But Jamaica has a lot of fruits. If I were to name them, they mm -hmm. would take all day. All day. All right. day. But the variety, that's why I wanted you to mention, a lot of people don't realize, in, in speaking about uh, Jamaica is the fruits that they have. The variety is just outstanding. Outstanding. Yes. And, and that is why when we were growing up, we were, I want to say, healthier mm -hmm. because we yeah. had fruits at our disposal. I mm -hmm. mean, you could, in any neighborhood that you would go, there's a mango tree, mm -hmm. there's a guinea yeah, tree. Yeah, because mangoes, I love those myself. You know, they have mango and they make mango ice cream, yes. mango drinks, all kinds of mango which they said nutritionally is number one. Yeah. And it's better than the orange, really. Yeah. yeah. Um, there's there's some debate about that because I was mm. reading that the <laughs> men don't eat too much mangoes <laughs> because <laughs> it's rich in sugar, uh -huh. you know, so just be careful. But Jamaica, well, we have so many variations of mangoes. That oh, Just the I mangoes see. themselves have a own, their own mm. life. I mean, there's is the Julie, right? the East Indian, the Bombay, the number 11, the Sweetie oh, Come Brush see, Me, the uh, Lonnie, see, the Stringy. Uh, most of the... I, I know myself. I'm, when I see a mango, that's it. You yeah, know, I yeah, see yeah. one kind, 
And that's the only thing that we're familiar with is the one kind of mango yeah. that comes in the state. But in uh, Jamaica, the variety there are fruits. And like you were saying, fruits are very, very healthy. Very, yeah. very healthy. Yeah. Right. Very healthy. So that, that's, that's good to know. Those are things that you don't get when you are from travel agency. You, you know what yeah. I mean? They don't tell you about the, the positive things like that that are unique right. for, 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 for that area. Okay. Now, uh, let's, let's get into this uh, uh, Pepe, this show. <laughs> now, uh, now, tell us some of the things that you're going to talk about. And uh, we, we talked about... Uh, at the beginning about some of the things you're going to get people outstanding and things of that nature. Uh, are you going to highlight the, uh, uh, the contributions and things that uh, Jamaica has made to the world? You know, what, like you was talking about Marcus Scott and things like that. Well, you know, the show is not about Jamaica, even mm -hmm. though I'm from Jamaica. Mm -hmm. I, was, I wanted it to, to make it more mainstream and more mm -hmm. inclusive. Okay. So by virtue of me being a Jamaican, of course, you're going to get information on Jamaica. Yeah. But like I said, the show is really about the personalities who I interview. Mm -hmm. So if you're not a Jamaican person, mm -hmm. then the story that you're telling has absolutely nothing to do with Jamaica. Mm -hmm. For example, one of the persons who I interviewed, very, very bright young lady, her name is Lloyd George. Mm -hmm. And her background is so rich. I mean, she has parents from two different parts in Africa. Mm -hmm. I think she was born in France. She can speak wow. Portuguese. No yeah, kidding. yeah, she's an immigration lawyer and a mm -hmm. jazz vocalist. Mm -hmm. So when I'm interviewing her on Pep Talk, which is mm -hmm. the name of the show, mm -hmm. it's all about her mm -hmm. and what she does in mm -hmm. her personal and private life and what she does in the greater community. Mm -hmm. But I am planning on having an entire season dedicated to just the culture yes. and heritage of I, I, Jamaica. I think, I think that's very important. That's yeah. a, uh, I don't think there's any shows like that. That would make your show unique. Yes. Uh, you know, having something like that because you bring information just like the information you has given on this show. Yeah. You know, just b the basic things like the culture and the foods and things of that nature. And what just like when you said jerk, I, I thought maybe that was just uh, a pork or pig <laughs> or something. But you said jerk is a is a seasoning and yeah, a way that you actually uh, uh, prepare prepare the foods prepare, prepare prepare the foods right. Yeah. Yeah. See, those are things that are very uh, informational, mm -hmm. and and the average person, unless even if they've been there, they still don't know. Just like you say, yeah. you have a tourist area, and it's areas that the natives, you know, they don't even bother. Just like it's a lot of people here in Washington never been to the White House. Exactly. Yeah. Because <laughs> you, you know what I mean. Although they live here and everything, but there's other things that they, uh, uh, the culture. Uh, that they bring into the area. It's not associated with the White House at all, see. But the idea is that I think that's a great idea that you have there uh, of uh, having individuals. The one thing I like to ask about, and I always do this to all my guests, is that uh, the uh, they have an organization called the Evolutionary Elders uh, that Dr. Eugene uh, Singleton is uh, uh, Dr. Eugene Williams, I'm sorry. Uh, and he, th the idea is get two cultures together, the young people, the teenagers, uh -huh. and the retirees. And uh, what uh, he's a, a former professor at the University of Maryland. His wife is a math uh, professor, and he's an English. And they retired as a group of them. They go around and exchange knowledge with teenagers. Mm -hmm. In other words, form uh, uh, individuals and the, teen the teenagers generally, are, as far as electronics, they way ahead of us, you know what I mean? But as far as knowledge and, 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 and a mentor, right. a develop a mentor program between the groups. What do you think about that? I mean, I like doing the intergenerational stuff. Yeah. I think it's, it's good for everyone involved. Right. Um, it's good for the seniors because, yeah. you know, they really like young people. Right. And um, I actually work with seniors in my day job, and it's very Is that right? I do, hey, I do. well, yeah. that's right. Hey, I didn't know that. So yeah, that's, that's I, great. Don't, don't you think that's a great idea? It, it's a great idea. And one of the organizations that I also interviewed on the show, which is a Jamaican mm -hmm. organization, Jamaican Nationals Association, Mm -hmm. They do a lot of intergenerational work, mm -hmm. and um, for years we have had our um, 
general meetings at a senior center in Silver right. Spring. And right. we give back to the seniors on Thanksgiving. You know, we go and sit with them and mm -hmm. cook with them and do all kinds of stuff. So we're mm -hmm. building that. And I think it's excellent that we keep building on that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'd like to do something on a show where I have like some youths and mm -hmm. some seniors and yes. we have a forum right. and talk about how right. we can collectively right. help each right. other. Because I think it's, it's a need for both groups. Mm -hmm. It's a need for the seniors, it's a need for the youngsters too. Because they, they're beginning their career, you know what I mean? And, and seniors can help sort of be a mentor as far as uh, basic things are concerned, you know. Uh, who to hang out with, mm -hmm. and, and, you know, and that, that type of thing, and to develop your own uh, a career. You know, you have thinking, uh, uh, you find generally the uh, uh, teenagers, they, uh, their peer pressure is the greatest thing. You know, they want to belong, you know yeah. what I mean? And that's how a lot of them get on the wayward side. You know, they want to belong. They want everybody to like them. They feel, the, the teenagers feel, you know, I want to be popular, so, you know, I want to be uh, liked by. But I, the, the, the seniors will be able to tell them, you have to make your own way, and you have to determine, hey, I, although John Jones or Mary, they're nice, but they're not going the way that I want to go, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Because uh, I use the example of, uh, when my brother and I were going to school, you know, well, uh, uh, they, they called us the Square Brothers because we didn't drink and smoke, you know. I said, well, okay, you know, this, this is, that's what I don't want to do, you know what I mean? And I didn't let that determine, you know what I mean, that I'm going to be accepted in the group. In, in order, they have what you call initiation uh -huh. things, you know, like fraternities and things of that nature. So uh, I, I just think it's so very important as far as uh, uh, mentors between the two groups. And the more shows that we have bringing the young people and the seniors together, more positive it be because the, 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 uh, uh, they're really lost. Uh -huh, they they don't, they, as far as selecting a career, all of that is very important. And seniors, I think, would, uh, would is, they have all that knowledge, and most of them, are, they cut grass and sow or whatever thing, volunteer for things, when the positive thing will be to uh, be a mentor for uh, a, a, a young person. Yeah. And, and, you know, it's funny that you mentioned that because I can tell you for a fact that the young people who I know, Mm. They have more respect for the elders than they sometimes have for their parents. Right. Because all the kids have that respect for their grandparents. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. when they see a, a senior person, mm -hmm. they tend to kind of, right. you know, right. get in line. Yeah. And, and I mean, I've watched um, a lot of children and youngsters mm -hmm. work with the seniors, and it's fulfilling mm -hmm. for both of them. The seniors that we work mm -hmm. with, and I want to mm -hmm. uh, mention um, yes. East River, they're, okay, um, they're one, baby boomers, <laughs> and they're vibrant, and they uh -huh. work a lot with, with students, especially from mm -hmm. Howard University, and we do okay. that intergenerational stuff. All, all right, then. Um, it's great having you on the show, and I mean, Rosie, and as far as Peppy is concerned, when all of you look out for uh, Peppy, it'll be on. And uh, Rosie Park, she's going to really bring us some new, new, new beginning, I call it. We call it Peppy Show, the new beginning. And once again, keep up the good work, and anything I can do, let me know. All right, see you next time.